G'day everyone. So this is all about taking the opportunity when you get the chance. I'm parked across the road, came back to the car and the groundsman was over here mowing the grass. Hit him up if I could have a metal detector around this old church. And he was telling me that a lady, a local lady, has lost a um, diamond ring. So I'm on the hunt on a ring recovery. So I've just started going around the um, perimeters and I'm working my way back in towards the church. Just come over by the tree in the bench here, got a 20 cent coin on the other side of that tree. Coming along, just come down in front of here, got a decent 70s. I actually jumped up into the high 80s signal. And when I got down, we're on the board of a silver. <laughs> Alrighty, next target, scratchy 60 signal. I thought it might have been a um, a late silver 50%, but it's just a whacked up lawnmower beaten 20 cent coiner. I really hope the lawnmower hasn't done the same thing to this lady's ring, because otherwise it's going to be in pieces. Next target, and oh, where'd it go? There it is. Oh, just see the edge of it somewhere. Somewhere, there it is, Goldie. One dollar. Another Goldie. There he is, side the plug. Two Dora. Yeah, what's that, 88? First year, two dollar. We'll take it, still looking for the ring. But looks like we got our first penny. Got no idea what the date is. Only just pulled it out. I was a little bit off target. I had to um, widen up my hole a little bit. It was in the sidewall. What is it? All right, there we go. I can see a date coming through there somewhere. Looks like a rue penny. Yep. Uh, 1956 or 58. Ooh, focus camera. Uh, ooh, that's a funny looking 58. I think it's 58. Uh, but I just picked up a signal beside the building here. Sounded like a lead top roofing nail and sure enough it was. But the thing that surprised me and the reason I turned the camera on is the first thing that fell out of the hole when I flipped the plug back. Great big dirty seashell. Very random for, what, two and a half hours away from the ocean? So I thought that was pretty interesting. Full of dirt. Yeah, just thought I'd um, turn the camera on for that one. That's it, we're metal detecting, you never know what you're going to find. Alrighty, next target, and let me just say, I'm super impressed with this Nell Thunder Coil. I'm glad I went with the Thunder and not one of the square ones, because I'm getting excellent separation with the um, elliptical, oval shaped coil. And we just pulled out this little guy, little button, with some fancy on it. I'm not sure if it's silver, I don't think it is, but definitely a line there with some scroll work underneath, or maybe a griffin. And unfortunately I don't have any water on me at the moment, so we're going to have to clean it up in the wrap up. But no, happy with that, I and mean, still got the shank. Ooh. It's taken one little ding from the mower from the looks of it. But no, that looks pretty fancy. So we'll clean that up and I'll show you the details in the wrap up. Alright guys, next target. Maybe work for it a little bit, but we got a commie penny. Beautiful green patina. 1912. Got a decent 70s. I actually jumped up into the high 80s signal. And when I got down, we're on the board of a silver. And I'm pretty sure with those readings, it's going to be 925. And I don't have any spray on me. Uh, give me a second. The one thing I do have on me is my snuffer bottle. So hopefully we can squeeze some bubbles out on that. Let me 
just get an ID for you. Oh, yep, there we go. 1927 threepence. 925. Awesome. Hopefully we can find this ring as well. Alright guys, back on the next target. See you soon. I just got another commie penny and really really hard to see the date but I think it's it's even 1918 or 19 19 I'm not sure I'll have to wait till I clean up this um black dirt it's like mud I'm gonna say 1919 look at it that sweet all right I'll go change batteries back soon there's the imprint and there's the 50 cent. Uh, get a year off it, maybe. 1980. 1980, there you go. Ah, 50 cents, moving on. Alrighty guys, next target, and we got a relic. Just out from down here, high 80 signal. And the old wooden ruler. Bracket end. Nice little relic. Alright, keep going. Back soon. And we got a coin. Uh, looks like a penny. Hey. Shit, they're coming out of ground in good condition here. 1913. Old Commonwealth penny. Very nice. I'll take it. Alrighty, guys. I have found. A key, and that's me. Drop the mic. I've got this little patch straight up here to the footpath. If I don't find anything else, I'll see you at the wrap up. All right, guys, time for a quick wrap up. So, there's all the yunk, copper, aluminium, rusty old nails, and all the lead roofing nails down the bottom. But we did get some stuff. Seashell fell out of the hole. Random find that one. Old buckle, end of the carpenter's rule, shotgun head stamp, key, uh, a couple of modern spendies, some 20s, 50, a couple of the little brown buggers, two cent, one cent, lawnmower whack 20, a couple of goldies, and then the winners uh, found this little button. I think it's silver, not sure, gonna have to get it tested. Can't see any marks on the back. But, yeah, I don't know. It looks right, cleaned up right. It's got a little bit of weight to it. Uh, the star of the show and first silver for the year, 1927 threepence. And then a couple of pennies, uh, 1911, 1913, 1919 Commonwealth pennies. And then the 153 Rue penny. And that was about it. A lot of rubbish in there, as you can see. Roofing nails and such, and the lead. So, um, gonna try and get back, see how we go. No promises. It was kind of a one off deal, that one. And no luck on the ring uh, when I was talking to the girls next door. They reckon she probably didn't lose it there anyway, so. But I would have picked it up if it was on the surface. Alright, guys, uh, and one other little thing. Went shopping on the weekend, got myself a nice kangaroo 2018. Four nines fine, into the stack, sweet, and first little silver for the year, 925 sterling threepence, the uh, KG5 on the back, very happy with that, alright guys happy hunting, see you on the next one, later.